I'm feeling very lucky just now. I've got about an hour child free. Marcus is with my mum and Oliver's at nursery and I'm on my own. And it's nice and peaceful and quiet. It's very rainy outside and cold, but that's what it's going to be like for the next few months in Scotland. Yeah, so I thought this is a perfect time to sit down and film this video when it's nice and calm in the house. So Ancestry, if you don't know, is the UK's largest family history building website. You can go in there and build your family tree. You can find all about your past. They have um, over 2 million, I think. Is it over 2 million? 2 billion, oh my God. <laughs> they have 2 billion searchable UK family history records. How crazy is that? So they have censuses, censuses, birth, death, marriage certificates. They have passenger lists for like immigration, photos. There's just a lot of information on there. So even if you have the smallest amount of information, like I'm about to tell you, you can uncover a whole new side to your family. So let me explain what Ancestry has done for us over the last few years and how this all came about. So my mum is an only child and we've always known that her dad, Harry, uh, my grandpa, was adopted. The very, very limited info that we had was that his birth mum was called Jessie Helen. We knew her first name, middle name and her surname. We knew that she lived in a small town near Glasgow, well, kind of near Glasgow, and we knew that his birth mum was unable to look after him because she was single and she was on her own. She worked in a hotel in this town, um, and one way or another, she ended up giving the baby to my granny Peebles, who ended up raising my grandpa. And there's been times where we thought, imagine that we have other family out there, imagine Jessie Helen had went on to have other children, like we'll just never know. That's what we've always thought, we'll never know. And then back in 2015, when my gran was unwell, me and my mum started talking about her life and my grandpa and I had said, well I've seen this Ancestry website, why don't we try and find information on her? And my mum was like, I don't really think that we'd be able to find anything because we have hardly any information it's kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack so that was a challenge and I went on to the Ancestry website I signed up using the 14 day free trial and I kid you not within 15 minutes I had a photo of my great gran on the screen the name matched the town matched uh, the years kind of all matched on how old we thought she would have been at the time because we knew she was quite young when she had them but the most striking thing is how much she looked like my grandpa and I feel like my grandpa has quite a distinctive face and so did Jessie Helen. This one photo of her, it was a really grainy photo. You could still tell, you could see the similarity. Let me know in the comments if you agree. After that length of time having this huge question mark on one side of the family and then all of a sudden we can see a face. This was my mum's gran so my mum was like, the photo was actually on there because someone else had been trying to find the history of Jessie Helen. And what we discovered was that Jessie Helen had actually went on to have a husband and another child. Her daughter was now trying to piece together the family history. And it turned out while this lady was piecing together her family history, she solved a huge question mark in my family history. So we started speaking to her and she had no idea that her gran had had another baby. She had no idea. Jessie Helen had never told anyone about it, but she knew, she confirmed that she had worked the places that we knew she had worked. She's from the same town. And we actually saw the resemblance between Jessie's daughter and my grandpa. I mean, it was, you could really tell. I'm not going to share her photo because there's obviously a whole other side of the family, but everyone looks alike and it's so strange. So through that, my mum discovered that she had an auntie. Unfortunately, her auntie had passed away by the time that we had found all this information out. It was bittersweet in a way because my gran had passed away a few weeks before and we were never able to kind of tell her this information. Obviously, my grandpa had never known this information and it was sad to know that actually Jessie Helen had passed away not knowing any other information about her son. We'll, we'll never know how she felt about it and how difficult it was to give up her son. I'm sure that would have been really difficult, obviously, but I think back in the day, back in the day, back in the 1920s, I think everything was just very, very different. Single mums weren't very common at all. If you were single and you were on your own, a lot of un 
official adoptions would happen and I think that's why a lot of people have really enjoyed using Ancestry because you can start to fill in those gaps that unofficial adoptions leave. And then in January this year I got an email to say that I had new messages on my Ancestry account so I went on to it and I had messages from a family in Canada and it turned out that they were also trying to piece together their family history and Jesse Helen was a part of that too. So Jesse Helen had actually had a son a few years before Harry. So my grandpa at this point had we had found out that he had an older brother and a younger sister and the older brother had also been given up for adoption. So they came back to where we did, they found Jesse Helen, they found the photo of her, they emailed me because it was my, it was on my family tree that they had found it. I was able to tell them that there was actually a sister as well. So I was really excited to have that moment to tell them because someone else had done that to me, someone else had given us that photo and told us the story of what she'd went on to do after and that's kind of what I was then doing for them and telling them all about what I had discovered. The thing with Ancestry is that you get hints or like prompts if you put in someone's name and date of birth or rough date of birth, year of birth, where they're from, it will kind of give you hints and prompts and tell you we have this record or this matches similar to someone else's family tree and you can look through those records and match up. I think it's really sad that this has all happened after they have died and we've never got to have that moment where everyone reunites and finds out what happened but it's still nice to know. If you're thinking of doing something like this I would definitely recommend doing it for like a family member, like a relative for their Christmas or for their birthday or something like that. It's so, so interesting. Whether you sign them up or whether you get that information yourself and piece together a family tree and give it that time as a present, I think that would be amazing. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little story time. I'm gonna get ready now and go up to my mum. She wants to show me some photos and I will take you with me. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I think I just go. <laughs> Just arrived from once and these two are hanging out. We've got some photos down from um, the loft, so we're going to have a wee look through the photos and try and piece together who everyone is. Mm -hmm. um, Who's actually? Are there's granny people there, isn't it? Yes. And that is that's my dad. So this is my grand's dad here, um, and he's the one that we've not been on that side yet. We've I need to add this photo in. That's my grandpa and my grandpa with my gran. And that's before he got married. Telling his face shape that he looks like Jesse, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's my gran, my mum, and this is your adopted grandmother, which is. Yes. Yeah. That's a nice photo, isn't it? Mm hmm. And that's one of. That's my gran in Peebles. I think that's very much a Jesse Helen one. Yeah. some of our old family photos really really old family photos taking a few photos of ones of my grandpa but I'm also gonna add in ones of my grand side my grand had I think it was eight or nine brothers and sisters so quite a lot to add to my grand side very very interesting I would definitely recommend going and checking out the website as I said there's 14 day there's a 14 day free trial just kind of get started and see what there is to offer there's the thing that I find really useful with it is the hints and the prompts you don't need to know that much about people if you know their names and their rough year of birth sometimes that's all you need let me know in the comments if any of you have ever used the website and if you've got any stories like mine where you've discovered loads of information you didn't know or long lost family members I think it's just so interesting I'll leave a link below if you want to sign up um, and get some more information hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>